a bus driver accused of obstruction. This is, what did he do? Hell of a thing when you're accused of obstruction. Oh, honking at cop. Is that, is there an ordinance? Is that on the books? Uh, Will you watch and make up your mind how serious this is? Matter of fact, I'm gonna call my control center. Yeah, let's do it. At a line. I let's do it. Go ahead. I was in call motion. Them. Call them. Excuse me. No, excuse me. No. Call them. I was in motion. Okay, I understand that. Okay, can I explain? And you just you, you just ran run. from us. What are you I talking about? I ran from. I Our lights and sirens are on. I pulled over to let and you pass, and you didn't pass. I was so pulling I you over. over. So I moved forward to my zone. The people on the bus just need to get where they're going, okay? We got it. You're in charge of everything. And you make up the laws, the rules as they go. And if anyone gives you lip, you threaten more. And sometimes you do it, right? Don't you look at me that way, okay? Probably raising a teenager. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. All right, the video was recently shared to TikTok by user Shad W. Mystique. This verbal exchange between a Seattle bus driver and a cop who pulled the bus over shows a heated confrontation over who was in the wrong over a traffic incident. The videos have garnered a lot of reaction online. A whole lot of you taking note of this one. Um, before we move on, though, we should show you the rest of the interaction. You cut me off as I'm in motion and I almost hit you. So I have the right to hold the horn to let you know, hey, I'm here. Okay. You don't have okay. the right to cut off a bus. I didn't Just, cut you off. It's on camera. Man. Great. It's on camera. Great. Great. So call, get your supervisor down there. Hello, I'm waiting for you to respond. Let him know to get another bus down here, another driver down here. You're not, you're not driving. You gonna take me to jail? Maybe. Right now you're obstructing. How am I obstructing? Because I'm stopping you. For what? What reason? What, what is the For the reason? road rage. There was no road rage. What do you mean there was no road rage? Show me. Show me a statue that says, I a person will be stopped. Show me the law. Where's the law? Show me the book. Show me the book. All right. We'll wait, we'll wait for your supervisor to get down here. Show We'll wait for your supervisor, that's cool. You're refusing to give us your, your ID? Yeah, I'm refusing to give my driver's license. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait. Sorry, guys. You had no right, no reason. Uh, I never said I was impressed with your instruction. It's all on camera. Yeah, I might take you to jail for obstruction. <laughs> okay, I was about to get mad at the people on the bus because they were a little too quiet, but perhaps they were uh, keeping mum so that we can make sure the video that's being recorded is quite clear. Because at the end, you heard them laughing. They're laughing at you, officer. And not just because I picture on the front of your uniform, there's like those powder stains, donuts, and the like. I, I could just tell by his attitude, you're sloppy. I know sloppy when I see it. It's not just physical, it's an attitude, a sloppy, nasty attitude. And they got you, baby. They got you, it's all on camera. In the videos, the officer states, for Atlanta Black Star, he was trying to pull the bus driver over. While the driver alleges he was trying to pull over because he thought that the emergency vehicles behind him were attempting to pass the bus. You just ran from us, our lights and sirens are on, the cop said. I want it. I pulled over to let you pass and you didn't pass. So I moved forward to my zone, the driver explained. I was pulling you over. Cop retorted. You heard him talk about road rage too. Come on, you sloppy brother. You sloppy. Driver has heard accusing the officer of cutting him off and saying he almost hit him. So he honked his horn. Is that road rage? The cop reiterates that he didn't cut him off. But the driver says, it's on camera, uh-huh. It's not just gonna be your body cam that you turned off. 
indicating that the incident was caught on the bus's dash cam video. All buses have that. The cop then demands the driver call his supervisor or another bus or driver to the scene and tells the driver that he could be arrested for obstructing and road rage. Why don't you call your supervisor? How about that? You don't know the protocols of my company. You call supervisor. How am I obstructing the driver question? Because I'm stopping you. Huh? Again, that's not on the books. You're just making it up, sloppy. For what? What reason? The driver asked. For the road rage. Sloppy responded. After the driver refuses to give the cop his ID, the officer says, they will wait for either backup or the driver's supervisor to arrive, then apologizes to the passengers for the delay. Again, they laugh, they giggled at him. They, they saw it. We all see it. Okay. It's like that commercial. We all see it. The user who posted the videos wrote she was one of two dozen passengers on the bus and said the driver was completely in the right. And the officer had his ego bruised. Thank you. I could have just read that part. Most people flocked to the comments to question why none of the passengers spoke out against the officer for wasting time, not trying to de escalate and resolve the situation in a timely fashion. Why didn't the people on the bus confirm what the driver was saying to the officer? One commenter asked it. People need to learn to speak up. It's insane this cop felt comfortable enough to do this with <laughs> 20 plus people on the bus as witnesses, further wasting their time. Another person commented, we need to hold them accountable for the power trips one TikTok user wrote. Well, look, I, I think there's more to come and they're going to be held accountable here. The part um, where one of the commenters says, you know, it's insane that the cop felt comfortable doing this in front of all those people. I don't think it's insane at all. I think it's a rite of passage is what they do every single day because they know they're going to be able to get away with it. It's called an imbalance of power. It's a power trip, Senator. What say you? Yeah, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Shannon. Wow, that's what we there saw on display. And I don't agree with the one commenter about why the, the people on the bus didn't speak up. I think they did exactly what they should. Let's gather some information. Let that police officer keep talking because he didn't <laughs> talk to himself into a corner and it wouldn't have done anything any good for those passengers then to start yelling at this officer. Let him say what he says because now they have, they can use what he said uh, to retort what happened compared to what the officer is alleging. Now, unless this bus driver was driving recklessly, who gets into it with a bus driver? Sharon? I'm just trying to see what kind of mentality does one have to have? to get into it with a bus driver. Again, Seattle police, just as I said about the New York police chief, too much time on your hands. I mean, that would be just like getting into an argument with a firefighter. That just doesn't happen. Yep. Everybody's happy to see the fire. Well, first of all, you don't want the firefighter to come, but you you happy to know that if you dial 911 and you need them, that help is on the way. The bus driver is performing a community service. They're helping the environment because people are commuting on a yep. bus. I mean, what is there to be mad at with the bus driver? Ego bruise, just like that one commenter yeah. said. That's all this came down to is his little itty bitty tiny. Yeah. Ego. And that's why I mentioned that he probably has powder on the front of his suit but from donuts and too many carbs. Yeah. It's the way my mind works. You act this way when you overload on carbs and you just want to be nasty. Yeah. You just want to be nasty. I and that's it. what was going on here. I, I would sit you down real quick if I was in charge of the police department. I would sit you down because you don't have the temperament. You should be out here making people feel better about our city. Notice I didn't say you should be out here chasing the criminals. If, they, if you come across them, go ahead. You should be out here making people feel better about our city. Instead of, don't apologize to me either. Now that I probably would have to say. Yeah. Well, I try not to flip people off. I haven't done that in years. But he just, he could have then turned on them. So it is what it is. Well, uh, owed, I think that officer, I know we got to go to break, Sharon, but I think the officer does owe the bus driver an apology. Yes, he does. There was no reason to go to that extreme. And we've all been in situations on the road mm -hmm. where somebody has done something that kind oh, of my goodness. Put, put you on the edge yeah. a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and then you just got to come on, calm down and bring it on back. This right. was a excessive what this officer did. And you're right, Sharon, it is not a good representation. It's not a good look, boo. And honking at somebody ain't them. road rage. So you no, don't it's dial not. it back. I mean, if you if you leaning on the on it and then you follow me down the street, 
I then, know that. then, then yeah. it escalates to that. But he'll sure. just say, hey, officer, you know, come on, brother trying to get his job done. And them passengers, I know they was mad as hell because I'd be mad as hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wanted to try to masculate this bus driver too. The bus driver said, I'm not, you're not fitting to play with me. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Tricks this off the is kids, tricks baby. Are you silly rabbit? Okay. 